In this video, I'm going to teach you how to configure this uh, Vitron Energy. So in this case, it's very easy. Let's go through the um, manual. We have this table, as you can see here, we have zero to nine. And we have A to D. So we have, for instance, uh, if you see the error, also in this display that you see here, you're going to see the errors. Error one, it would be short circuit, overload, or over temperature, under voltage, or over voltage. As far as I can tell, this will protect you under voltage, but not over voltage. So here you have the buzzer. This, this is for A, B, C, and D. So as you can see here, it says a buzzer or LED. So you will get an alarm. In case of uh, under voltage or continuous, uh, a continuous alarm uh, will start after 12 seconds. The BP, the battery protector, will disconnect the load after 90 seconds and the alarm will stop. And will reconnect, uh, the reconnect delay will be 30 seconds. In case of over voltage, the load will be disconnected immediately and intermittent, intermittent alarm will remain until the overvoltage problem has been corrected. Uh, at least for me, it never worked like that. I'll, I'll show you uh, right now with the, with the uh, power supply that I have here. So here we have the relay mode and the relay mo mode in, in case of under voltage, the relay uh, will engage after 12 seconds, the BP will disconnect after 90 seconds. In case of over voltage, it will disconnect immediately, like I said, uh, will disconnect immediately. Uh, the alarm output will remain inactive, uh, over voltage, uh, trip level is 16 and 32. 16, <laughs> it seems to me, uh, too much but we can we can try both and um, at least I'll, I'll teach you how to set them up and you can try with with everything so let's start for instance here we have the voltage most people they, they recommend uh, level 8 as you can see 12 will, will disconnect and uh, you have under voltage restart so uh, 13 so when the bolt if the battery it goes over 13 it should uh, uh, reconnect everything again and here you have everything so here I have the model is BP 2220 so in order to connect this I'm going to zoom out so that way you can see the voltage here in my power supply so as you, as you can see when is when this is is blinking uh, it seems like like it's working properly at least you you don't get any error or anything like that so here we have a negative and we have positive so the positive goes here where it says in here and then we have the output that we are going to connect the other positive that this is the as you can see oh, i'm going to lower the voltage there we go leave it in 12.9 so here we have LED light here. So this is a test. I made another video about how to make your own uh, battery protector in case if you want to play with this you can do that. Uh, I'll, sh I'll show you uh, or you can find my other video. I'll leave it in the video description. Way cheaper with this maybe $20 you can uh, you can do it. This is you're going to spend like $100. So in order to connect it like I said this is in this is out easy so the out goes to one side of the load, whatever you want to plug in. And we have here the alarm. So if you want to connect the speaker, you can connect it here in this port. Here you have in the middle, you have the, the ground. And here this is to program the, the unit. You know, once it's programmed, you don't need this anymore. And this is the remote. So this will be like a switch. If, if I unplug it from here, for instance, or if you put like a, a, a switch here, you're not going to have any any load, <laughs> so nothing will work. So it's like having a switch basically. And then you have to connect the the ground to the negative. In this in this case, it's the negative, the same thing that you see here. The cable goes all the way here, and that's it. So here we are going to test with the multimeter later 
so that way you can see how everything is is working also you're going to have the you're going to see the same thing uh, here so it's, it will be like a, a redundant but just in case if i want to play with this uh, i can do that so without what well, without this because if i put 16 18 i may damage the the light i don't want that so that is why i'm going to use this uh, later so first the first thing if you want to set this up you have to unplug this and then you have to touch the the negative once and then you will see for instance here it says a8 a8 so if you want to uh, modify it you have to keep pushing as you can see it will change a b c d so if you want to in b for instance you have to keep uh, pushing i mean touching this come on i don't like this system you should you should have a, a switch instead or doing or a deep switch instead of doing this this <laughs> is not very convenient or a bluetooth device so as you can see now we are changing the table of one to eight for instance we are going to leave it in eight there we go and then you stop touching and then you will stop there okay come on now we have to go to a come on right, there you go you see a b d a b c d a b okay you can leave it b for instance and then it will be a b okay so we leave it like that And then there you have it. And it start it, it start working. So we're going to let's pretend that the battery is going low. So let's leave it then maybe eleven something because it was an eight. It should uh, disconnect by itself in uh, I think it was ninety seconds. So we are going to put the stopwatch. We said. There we go. The light is off. Now we're going to stop this, reset it. Now we are going to increase the voltage again. Uh, it was on 8, so it should be after 13. So there you go. We leave it, as you can see, 13.16 start the stopwatch again there we go so now we have the light back again so we have 13 the the problem that I see is I'm going to unplug this what happened if we turn a multimeter so put it in the triple dot on the line we leave it like that so we touch here we have 13 19 almost the same thing like here so what happened if we put it on 16 or 17 there you go we got an error but we still have voltage here so as you can see is at least is not working the the way i was expecting because here on relay mode it says over 16 it should uh, it should disconnect so over voltage trip level 16 or 32 because it depends what whatever you use in your system because you, it seems like you can use it for 20 volts uh, 24 volts as well and 
we don't have any disconnect. What happens if we put 21 or let's say 32 volts? We still we are getting 17. The error is still the same. And this is this is uh, my my test. So at least for now, I'm not getting any disconnect after 12 volts. I mean after 16 volts, like is supposed to uh, do. We have 21, we have 32 here. So basically, that is how you set this up. At least for under voltage, it works great. I never had any any problem with this. But when you go over voltage for some reason. It, it doesn't work so yeah, hopefully this video was useful if you have any question let me know in the section below and see you next time